So you, all, you know, I've lived it. I'm not The Bachelor. I was on a reality show on CMT. Were you really? Yeah, it was called Redneck Island. Redneck Island. Redneck yeah. Island. I can't, Island believe, the Bachelor? I can't believe I'm bringing this up. I'm usually like hoping people don't read this up. We do interviews. terrible homework, man. <laughs> we do <laughs> terrible hey, Oh, by the way, by the way, I'm Riley. Oh, it's Riley. Riley. <laughs> yeah, nice I'm a country singer. To, nice to meet you. Yeah. Pleasure. Oh, hey, look, was on Redneck Island. Redneck, you were a winner. Hosted by Stone Cold? Well, I mean, yeah, if y'all want to tell the story, I will. Yeah, hell yeah. I, I didn't know if it was important enough to bring up. Hell oh, yeah, yeah, it's important yeah. enough yeah, to bring so up. I was playing a show at the floor, Bama, down yeah. on the coast, and uh, some guy comes up during my set, and he's like, hey, man, I'm a, I'm a uh, casting agent for this show on CMT. It's called Redneck Island. You'd be perfect for it. I'm like, yeah, okay, whatever. You know, this dude's drunk. Give him my phone number. He calls me from, uh, somebody calls me from L.A. The next Monday. Send over this contract, and it is like very plainly like can portray you in false light, can do this, that, whatever. So I was like very skeptical about doing it. Now, obviously, I was playing country music at the time, so I was like, "Well, what an opportunity!" I, I, the problem is, I've never seen anybody on a reality show and thought, "Oh my gosh, look how smart that guy is." Yeah, you know, they make everybody look so no, crazy. I'm with yeah. you. So I'm that like, is, there's, there's always point. there's always like if you watch enough shows, like there's one or two people they're like you're rooting for. It's them. just hard to like a lot of people on there because they're. I mean, you you they just they make they make you look crazy. They want the drama. That's yes. what makes the show. So I was a little skeptical about doing it, but I figured, man, if they just mention I play and sing, and some people watch well, it, you just need one one person yeah. believing you, right? So you know, I, I went on the show. I was super boring. I slept most of the time, mm -hmm. and and then one thing about it, if I don't went on the show when I was about twenty two. It had been all, yeah. but I was like 27, you know, I'm like, so yeah, I was, yeah. I was pretty boring. I kind of got that little bit of craziness out of my system and everybody just like fought, drank, got hammered, but the competitions were pretty tough, like swimming, kayak and paddleboard and like basically fighting in the pit at the end of the thing. So it was, a, uh, it was pretty serious, but we ended up winning. Me and my partner was uh Becky, a little girl from Louisiana and, uh, you know, you won one. Yeah. Won you won show. by sleeping through it. Slept through it, man. Hibernated. <laughs> Hibernated the whole time. I was well-rested well for do, the finale. Man. That's yeah. what bears do. So, so what, what's, what the with, yeah, what's the yeah, premise yeah. of the show? So that's the other thing. It's not like the real world where you're is just that, in a that, house. Is that him right there? Real world road That's rules? you on the left? I'm not on the right, if that's what you mean. <laughs> I'm not the girl <laughs> in a bikini on the that's right. That's you right there? That's a great yeah. guess, I'm Taylor. saying you started You started eating different, man. Like You look, you look a little skinny there. You look a little yeah. more buffed up right now. Well, this is a smaller shirt. Is it? I was skinny. I weighed like 175 pounds out of high school. What are you weighing now? Yeah, two maybe right around yeah. two. I tell you what, the boy's been getting after it. Well, yeah, I don't mean anything by that. I'm not coming on to you or anything. Well, thanks. Unless you're interested, then we can talk about it. But my wife would be mad. Okay, let's just let's just hold <laughs> so, up. So uh, is it like real world road rules? It's like that. Yeah, the competition is similar to that, and then they put a bunch of crazy people in the house together. So it's 24 people, 12 guys, 12 girls, and we all compete. And uh, you know, it's the drama is there, but it's just like. One thing I saw, because you, when the show came on after, we go sit around and watch it like in my hometown, and yeah. that was fun. Because obviously I was there, but I didn't know what the hell was going to be on the show, right? Because you really don't know how they're going to make you look. So like, somebody would say one thing, and then it would show me staring off, like I'm mad at them, and then they walk off, and it would show them, but I wasn't even looking at them. Like I was looking, yeah, at, you yeah. know. What I mean? So they they can do a lot of stuff with the cameras there, and there's cameras everywhere on you twenty four seven. Yeah, and I never thought that you would get used to cameras being around mm -hmm. but when you wake up on day three and you go in there and you're eating cereal and there's a camera in your face you finally just get worse like you don't even pay attention to this it. is it I'd, I'd be so worried about making myself look like an asshole on those things i'd yeah. make myself look like an asshole on this thing, yeah you, you would you'd thing. be good at it you think i'd be all you'd, right yeah you'd be entertaining i don't know i probably because they'd get to paint you however you they, yeah you so that's the thing I, I don't think i get the the the, I could probably get the short end of the stick at the end of the day. So the other thing was like, we would go film for three days and then we would do three days worth of interviews. So, you know, when you see them like sitting in front of a screen of some sort and they're like, so this, and they're like commentating their own life. Yeah. That's done three days after it happened. Really? And you got to talk about it like it's happening right then. So I'm like, so I'm walking into the room and this is what I see in that. And, and I mean, it, it would take like three or four hours to go and catch up. She would have a script of like what all happened, you know? And some of them, they would like get drunk before that. Really? So they would say like crazier things. I was always curious about that too because they're talking about the situation. I'm like, have they watched? Have they watched ahead of time some of their stuff? Are they just no? Giving, they're just no. The, but the, the lady will sit there and ask you, and she'll have a script of everything that's happened and what she wants to talk about. But the other thing is, they like when when they asked me to go to the show, they flew me to Atlanta and put me in a hotel with I, I assume everybody else. Took your room key, gave you like a hundred dollars per diem a day to to get room service, and they would just 
bring you like a scantron of a thousand questions and you'd be like my dad's a good person true or false mm -hmm. the work of a librarian interests me true or false like crazy stuff yeah they could have just had one i'm crazy true or false yeah, yeah. they ask a million questions and it's because they would do like psych evaluations and figure out what your personality was so they knew that you were going to clash with this person in the house or that really yeah what's the hardest thing you had to do on that show because it looked like they were doing some they were like climbing up poles and shit i don't You're know on stone this cold, guy's man. falling What's that, that was, other show he's got? It's like uh, Skull Island, Skull yeah, Ranch. Uh, Broken Skull Ranch. Broken Those Skull are Ranch. some men on there like fighting. Some yeah, stuff. Like, dude, they're getting after it and that thing. So this looks fun. Yeah, but it was it was tough. Like the the uh, the finale took several hours and it was literally swimming, kayaking, put a puzzle together. Like this thing right here in the pit is like literally a fight. Is this when somebody gets eliminated? It is, yeah. Lose? So oh, it's yeah, if you lose a thing, bro. guy and guy, girl against girl. So that was me in the yellow. You win that one? I did, yeah. Because he won the whole thing. Yeah, I won well, the I mean, whole thing. You, you I, and here, and lose, I'm still alive. Can you lose things. <laughs> you can't lose in the pit. Can't Pit's lose like, the, if you lose in the pit, you're out. You're out. That's right. Damn, dude, that's some serious shit. And so you're around all these people, these guys and girls all the time. People just hooking up left and right. Uh, there was some going on. Uh, I, 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 I didn't. I didn't watch it or anything. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, no, yeah, yeah, fair enough. <laughs> yeah. That he probably, that probably be a little thinking, creepy. I mean, yeah. So they're yeah. thinking, should I go there? Yeah. Uh, I yeah. Watching that. I, I didn't, hey, I didn't you watch it. You want to go watch them do it? In the, nah, I'm good. I'm going to go to sleep. <laughs> they would come get me and be like, Riley, get up. We need some B-roll. Are you doing something? Get up and just go. And I'd go like watch them have a food fight in the living room and just be like, yeah, right. man, these guys are crazy. Go yeah. back to sleep. So you're a big sleeper. Love it. Love sleeping. Big fan, yeah. Big sleep. <laughs> big, big sleep guy. <laughs> you know, my dad That's used a question, to. Right there.